hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Ashley Kay and today we are doing a journal flip through this is my second journal from 2022 I or no <laughs> this is 2022 and I'm not even I'm behind on the first one this is from 2021 um, I am behind on flipping through those and so I'm just going to do, you know, then when I remember that I have them and need to do them, I'm going to try and keep up on them. I want to flip these before I start this year's journals and just because that makes sense in my brain. So I hope that you enjoy this flip through. I will talk as I go through it. If you enjoy this kind of content or you like journal with me's, um, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I do a video a week and I usually upload on Tuesday. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> and I apologize for that in advance. All right. Without any further ado, let's look at this. This is a journal that I got from my sister. It is a Simply Chic Studio C. Um, if that meets anything to anyone. I got this from my sister who bought it from Family Dollar uh, a long time ago. This is a sticker I got from a website. It was free and I peeled these two off of Happy Mail, I believe. This is the inside. That's a picture of me. Um, this is a like instant kind of coffee that we drink often. Um, the quote for this one says, no matter how bad your heart is broken, the world doesn't stop for your grief. I don't know where that came from. Um, this is, let's see, it goes from the 21st of February through the 18th of April. I don't know why I put that. Um, I put this in here because a student from the high school that are middle school fed into um was shot and um actually a, quite a few students during this time frame of february 21st and april 18th um a lot of teens in the community died from cut and shot uh wounds so i was feeling i was feeling a lot anyway so without further ado let me make sure that you are in frame so this is a picture this is my husband he's kind of cut out of the picture because i just wanted a picture of the cat and the dog so close together this postcard is from light in the mailbox on etsy and i just did some journaling i found an old picture of my daughter from we went to uh, the idaho potato museum in blackfoot idaho that was exciting not really <laughs> This is um, some postage from the Netherlands, a picture of my husband putting together a Christmas present for my son. This is a picture of our Chihuahua dog uh, after she had gone and got her teeth cleaned. They had to take out a couple of her teeth. Um, this over here says, teaching STEM without teaching the humanities is how you get Spider-Man villains. Teaching theater without teaching the humanities is how you get Batman villains. <laughs> and then down here, you can't convince me a guy that running around as a scarce crow suit, a man who wears a top hat everywhere, and a dude who, and dudes who make their minions dress in coordinating outfits aren't theater kids. So, I agreed with that. Um, this is a little something, um that I got in Happy Mail. It says, always glitter with radiance that shines from deep within you. And I feel like that. Um, a picture of my dog. This came in a pack of exploding kittens, I believe. Um, a note from a, the church. A note from a student. Sorry for being chismosa, but I had to. Um, she was taught, the student I had was talking through a, uh, just through a class to her friend. And I told her, 
I basically pulled her and her friend aside and said, you guys are being chismosa right now and it's disrupting the class. You need to make sure that you're paying attention. And they kept doing it. So I told them that I was going to call home and at the end of class, she came up and brought me this note. It was the little things in life. Um, a swap bot card. Oh, this was some pictures that a pen pal sent to me and this has her address inside of it. And then underneath here, it's got a return address on the back, so I'm not going to flip it, but it's got a picture. So this is a picture of a moth that came inside of our house that I thought was really cool. And then underneath it, it's blank. I was going to write about pen pals and stuff, but I didn't. <laughs> this is a... Uh, I cut out this business card from Sugar Blocks on Etsy. This is from when my cat's... It's an old picture. None of these pictures are from like the time that they were. This was from during lockdown. My son, maybe it was from during lockdown. I don't know. Um, I took another sick day over here. Um, I almost fell down. I actually woke up and almost fell out, fell over. It was rough, but I went back to school today. This is a picture of my dad from when we lived in Idaho. A note from another teacher, like an encouraging note because it was a really, really tough time for my school community. Swap bot. Postcard that I just attached via paperclip. Um, we got these orange vanilla cream M&Ms last year. They were kind of yummy, kind of gross. Um, getting into Valentine's Day decorating. My son with his raincoat on. He loves his Mickey raincoat. Oh, I love this. This is um, a little plant and it says, oh snap. And then over here in the second page it says, and that's where babies come from. And the little propagation saying, oh wow. Yep, that's about how it goes. Um, this is just a picture of some Happy Meal that I was prepping. Oh, and this over here. Um, it kind of got cut off, but it says, I miss the 9 a.m. continental breakfasts at con hotels where one third of your crew is half in cosplay, one third is still in their pajamas, and the last third is still asleep, so you do your best to smuggle a muffin and a banana to them. I miss that shit so bad. And I really do miss going to cons and staying in hotels and everything. Um, we're still not really doing that. Hurt my back while bending over doing laundry, which is my life. I recently just hurt my back again. This doesn't have anything on the back of it. It just says feeling blessed um, and tucked it into the tea packaging. These are from Loveland's Life. I don't know if I mentioned that. I got them from her Patreon. They're wonderful. Some postage from Singapore, from Swapbot. Um, this was when my family was visiting from out of town for a little while. Um, we had gone to maybe a store or something and they had little rocking chairs and my son loved them. This is from a shirt that I bought. Um, we went to the aquarium over in Gatlinburg and saw some penguins mating. That was super cool. Uh, my teenage daughter was devastated a naked cat saying you don't have you don't need to be appealing to everyone i got my covid vaccine um an easter card it's okay to be disappointed that someone didn't turn out to be who you needed that's an important message we planted some lavender it did okay 
Oh, this is a meme from, um, was it in 2020 or 2021 when that, um, lawyer's filter got stuck on cat and it just says, oh no, what is it? The human filter isn't working. What are you going to tell the judge? Don't worry, I got this. I am not a cat. This is my desk. Just a picture of my desk after I cleaned it. Looked so nice. Another Easter card. An old, old picture from when we went to the Smoky Island Mountains and went for a little walk. A little poop sticker with you are enough sticker right next to it because that's what we need to hear. A swap bot. Monarch butterflies. I love monarch butterflies. They are absolutely my favorite. We don't see too many of them here in Tennessee. Zinnias. We planted some zinnias and those were gorgeous. A snap dog. A Snapchat filter that works on dogs. My mother and my son from their visit. It was really nice. This is just a little card. Um, from Swapbot, I believe it was, and my, um, this is an old picture, too, of my daughter that I cut out around it that looks so good. It's often the little things that hold the greatest meaning. I really do love screenshotting those memes and putting them on there. A little tip in of my son absolutely loves heavy machinery and so when we went out he had to sit on it every time my coleus grew very well last year is it a perennial oh, well I'll figure that out later if it doesn't come back I want to plant more but I do think it comes back every year okay over here it says one of the hardest lessons in life is letting go whether it's guilt anger love loss or betrayal change is never easy we hold on and we fight to let go very important no no oh we were putting my husband's computer monitor like a double monitor stand. Another very old picture of my son that I cut out around. I love that picture. An Easter from Swapbot. This is also a card from Swapbot. I had not started post crossing yet. Oh, this is an old picture of my, of a student. He was having a rough day, so I was just giving him a hug and then a note from another teacher telling me I was doing okay you know sometimes as a teacher you don't know if you are doing okay a picture an old picture of my son and my daughter and over here a quote from Jess Lair that says children are not things to be molded but people to be unfolded it's an important thing to remember I think a lot of people forget that and then we are at the end. I love this picture. Um, or their name. Their name is Jeremy. Uh, from Scottoon Network is their moniker on Instagram and YouTube. They create covers, like ska covers. And so, Scottoon Network. And they were doing a Q&A. And one of the questions was how to love yourself. And this was their response, and I really loved it, so I screenshotted it and printed it. And it said, ask yourself why you don't love yourself. Is it because society says you're ugly? Society gives us standards based off selling products. The, the literal commodification of our bodies. Your unique body makes you beautiful and outside, on the outside regardless, and true beauty comes from within. If you don't love yourself because of traits about your personality, work on them. There's lots of personality traits about myself I hated and some I still want to work on, but the key is to make those changes. If you don't love yourself because of past mistakes, realize nobody's born woke or perfect. We are products of our environments. What matters is you're working on making yourself a better person and doing what you can 
to right your wrongs. I hope this helps whatever reason you may not love yourself. And then I wrote a little bit about self-love. <sighs> because sometimes it's hard to allow yourself to be yourself and to embrace that. So I just wrote about that a little bit here. And that is my second journal from 2022. It had 80 sheets and I did end up tearing quite a few out and using them while I did my writing to pen pals, but it stayed really well. I really enjoyed that I could make it nice and bulky, but it wouldn't get like alligator mouth um, since it was so easy to rip out pages. That's it. Without any further ado, I will leave you to go on to your next video. If you liked it, please subscribe and leave me a comment down below and I will journal with you all again very soon.